Hi there, I'm Jack from Twinkle, and in today's video we're taking a look at No Pens Day, and some speaking and listening activities you can do on the day. No Pens Day is an annual day every November that encourages learners to put down their pens and focus on speaking and listening, rather than reading and writing. Spoken language skills are often underrepresented in learning when compared to reading and writing, and the modern conveniences of instant messaging on phones and computers mean the spoken language is often used far less than the written one. No Pens Day aims to develop spoken language skills and promote new approaches to teaching with engaging pen-free activities. Here are a few you can do with your learners this No Pens Day. Firstly, and this seems obvious, but make sure your learners know the skills they need to effectively communicate verbally. When speaking, make sure you speak clearly and loudly enough for the other person to hear. Use age-appropriate language. Don't use complicated words when speaking to a younger child, for instance. Look at the person you're talking to, but don't stare. Repeat yourself if you weren't understood, and be patient. And make sure you take it in turns, giving the other person the chance to respond. Listening is just as important as talking, so make sure you're looking at the person you're listening to. Give them your undivided attention. Show them you're listening. Smile or nod, or use the occasional yes, uh-huh, or I understand. Make sure to ask the other person to repeat themselves if you don't quite understand. Just make sure you do this politely. And most importantly, wait for your turn to respond. Don't interrupt the other person. Here is a game for three players. Make up a story or retell a story. It could be something funny that happened in your past, or it could just be how you travelled to school that morning. The more details in the story, the better. Tell this story to player two and include all the details. Player two must listen really carefully and then retell this story to player three. Player three then retells the story aloud. How accurate was the retelling? This game is a perfect demonstration of how both speaking and listening are so important in verbal communication. Here's a game for two players. Start by showing a picture. It could be an assortment of shapes, or it could be a famous painting. One player in the pair must have their back to the picture. They are not allowed to see it. The other player, though, is allowed to see the picture, and their job is to describe the picture. So, whilst the player that can see the picture must describe it to their partner, their partner has a piece of paper and a pencil. They must draw the picture based on the description as described to them by their partner. So, if you're describing, make sure to use exact language. What does everything in the picture look like? Where is it located in the picture? Be precise. The listener, the person drawing, must listen really carefully to the information, and remember to ask for extra information if they need it. Show a pair of children a picture. They must come up with an assortment of related words. They will work as a pair to serve and return these words, much like a game of tennis. They'll take it in turns to say these related words, passing the card to each other. If one child repeats a word that has already been used, or hesitates, then the other child wins the point. You can also play this game with adjectives. So for instance, you might show the pair of learners the word happy. Can they serve up some synonyms for the word happy? These are just a few ideas, but you can find more on the Twinkle website. This No Pens Day activity PowerPoint contains a number of activities, including the drawing from description activity from earlier, and an explanation of the skills needed in speaking and listening, perfect to explain to children why verbal communication is so important, 
and to practice these skills. And this No Pens Day Speaking and Listening Activity Pack contains all you need to play word tennis, as well as a number of other games like Who Am I? that sees children describe characters to a partner, or a treasure hunt where children listen to descriptions of objects in the room around them to find the treasure. Thank you for watching, make sure to like this video if you found it useful, and subscribe to the Twinkle Key Stage 2 YouTube channel.